starting with our leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna use the Ergo Paddle Brush to detangle the hair. So I'm gonna brush through it to get the tangles out and get me ready for hair cutting. So we're gonna start working in diagonal back section. Right below parietal ridge, I follow the round of the head back, the pretty much the occipital bone, then I cross over. This is where I wanna work my precision cutting. I also uh, wanna work with my tension on the side. So you can see how I stretch the hair out, then I let it go, and then I grab it again and pull back to see exactly where that hair is gonna fall when I pull it back with tension. Because the funny thing about curly hair is that when you pull it back, um, as soon as you let it go, it springs back, right? So you wanna make sure that you're cutting it at the right length. So a little test that I do is pull the hair out, let it go, pinch it again, and then pull it out. See where your hand goes, and that's where you should start cutting. All right, so now we're gonna continue up the head, taking about a half inch section of new hair. With curly hair, I don't like to take a lot of hair at once because you'll lose your guide really easy. You don't have that nice solid line to work with. So I want you guys to pay close attention to my elevation. As I work up the head shape, the head curves away from me, so my elevation gets higher so that I um, remove more weight from the haircut. The lower my elevation, the more the hair is gonna stack up. So I wanted to create a nice sleek side to this haircut and then have that disconnection fall over top. So as I work my way around the head, I'm really working with layering, which looks more like a graduation because it's curly hair, but I'm working straight out from the head for the most part um, as I work my way up the entire head shape to the parietal ridge. So then I just follow the round of the head back, working those layers, um, using the tight teeth of my comb to have nice tight tension, but understanding that where I'm over directing and pulling that hair out to where it's gonna spring back. I've got that all done. I'm gonna take the clips out, that little section in a precision form. And the rest of it, I'm gonna do all dry cutting. So we're gonna go in, I use my Percato mousse, run that through the hair. Then I'm gonna take my paddle brush, brush all the product through the hair. That's a key factor in styling hair is to make sure that you get the product on every hair strand. Then I use a diffuser to slowly dry the hair and create those curls without the frizz. We're gonna do the tease cutting technique, which is a half close of the scissor as you tease into the hair, which will cut the hair, but it gives it a nice soft edge, almost like a point cut look to it, but you're doing it with little chunks of hair at a time. It's really just pinching those curls, taking those sections and you can see how I'm just sculpting the shape on this curly hair. Her hair is going to live curly all the time. If it wasn't going to and she was going to smooth it out, then I would do a little bit more precision cutting, obviously. So now I over direct the little bang area. So I just grab chunks of the bang and I tease cut into it. That gives it that pieciness in the front. You can see all the texture around the shape. And I just work my way throughout the entire shape doing the tease cutting technique. Finish it with some spray. 